I'm about three weeks in, just curious whether or not I could do it, whether I would notice any difference. I've been completely plant-based pretty much for the last three weeks. Hey everyone, so before we go to the full clip, I just want to say a massive thank you to my friends, Dr. Dean and Aisha Shatsai, who shared with me this Good Morning America clip about the power of plant-based protein. Now, the reason I wanted to give them a shout out is because they've just released an amazing, exceptional free masterclass where they go through the, as they like to put it, neuro essentials. So I know masterclass is an overused word, but they go through all of the N for nutrition information, uh, E for exercise, U for unwind, R for restorative sleep, and O for optimization. Get access today with the link below this video, or if you're watching it on Instagram and our profile and a tap bio, if you want to get exclusive access to this free masterclass, I highly recommend it. And long-term health benefits. Could upping your intake of beans, nuts, and more help prevent heart disease? Dr. Ashen is going to join us more with all on that right now. So tell us about this study, Jen. So Robin, here it is. It was mm -hmm. just out in the Journal of the American Heart Association. Pretty big study, over 100,000 postmenopausal women. They were followed then for 18 years. And the findings of this study, pretty interesting. They found that the women who ate more protein from plant-based sources had an associated lower risk of dementia, lower risk of heart disease, and lower risk of something we call all-cause mortality, meaning death from all causes, in comparison to people who ate more red meat, dairy, eggs, and poultry. Yeah, animal protein. So do mm -hmm. researchers know why that is? There are some working theories that have been reported in the medical and nutritional science literature. One of them has to do with inflammatory metabolites. So these are byproducts of animal protein uh, that can then affect the heart and the brain and our blood vessels. Another one has to do with the gut microbiome, that good bacteria. Um, and so obviously what we eat is related to that. So those are, those are the two main working theories at this point. Okay, Jen. Word on the street, you're three weeks into a plant-based style of eating. How's it going? I am, Robin. So this was uh, my little experiment during my last COVID quarantine. Um, and I'm about three weeks in, just curious whether or not I could do it, whether I would notice any difference. I've been completely plant-based pretty much for the last three weeks. I checked my bad cholesterol. It dropped after just 10 days of eating this way from 111 to 85. Wow. I measured my body composition. I lost 2% body fat. My weight stayed the the same and I lost one point off that dangerous internal visceral fat. So even someone doing this just mm -hmm. one or two days a week could potentially have some health benefits. So what's your advice to if others want to give this a try? My advice is dip your toe in the water. It doesn't have to be all or none. You could start with just one day of plant-based eating and then maybe that will lead to two. But listen, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay, I'm going to go with a meatless Monday. All right. A meatless Monday. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you said, it's a start. It's a start. Your brain is the most complex organ in the known universe and has an incredible ability to regenerate. One of the biggest misconceptions we hear all the time in helping thousands of our patients is that cognitive decline is an unavoidable consequence.